arsenal of resin weapons and we would like to add to it. We started with these three resin knives and our latest addition was this lava themed resin axe. And after this one, we thought it'd be fun to do another elemental themed weapon. An air themed resin sword. Fight. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for all your website needs. Specifically, we want to try to recreate little clouds inside a resin to make it look like the sky. But we have some concerns. How are we going to add the clouds? We did a ton of research, put a lot of time to it, and didn't find any good answers. So instead, we're doing a whole bunch of experiments. We bought all these materials, and we're going to try them out to see which makes the best cloud in resin. Paper clay. It's like clay, but there's paper in it. <laughs> when you tear it apart, it leaves kind of like a rough edge that looks more organic. Urgh, I'm a big monster tearing apart clouds with my tiny little claws. I kind of want to just put this clay straight into the resin as is, but you have some worries about that. Yeah, I worry that the moisture content in the paper clay might mess with the resin curing. We can just microwave this and it'll turn rock hard because I did an experiment and that worked. <laughs> we have a nice selection of different size clouds. Let's go ahead and put them in the microwave. That's a weird sentence I didn't think I'd be saying ever. <laughs> One minute. I think that should be enough. Okay. Don't want to burn the clouds. A few moments later. I smell like the wood is burning. Doesn't it kind of smell like campfire in here to you? There's so much. Oh. <gasps> oh, careful. The it's... wood. The wood is so hot. Maybe we shouldn't have put it on wood. Maybe we should have used like a, like a plate. Like a paper plate? Yeah. <laughs> to cure the paper clouds? Yeah, I don't know. Dude, this wood is hot. Don't touch it. Oh, it's so hot. Wait, how hot's that wood? <laughs> Guess from the comments. How hot oh, is boy. it? That is 110 degrees, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. 125, 130, 170, 180. Oh my God. That's 200 degrees Fahrenheit. No wonder it smells like Two, burning wood. 200, 229 degrees Fahrenheit. That's some hot wood. It's hot wood, y'all. Let's see if these are cured. Oh yeah. They're hard, feel that now? Feel that. These are some pretty solid little clouds. Yeah, these, like are, they, these are never going to be translucent. No, these, these are like Simpsons clouds. Yeah. All right. You ready to make some resin? Yes. Sorry, we started talking at the same time. Kind of it, was, it was the same idea. It was the same idea. We're on the same page. Do, 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 do resin time. So I think for the color, we're going to stick with a pretty simple blue sky. I think let's mix up this and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, I'm just realizing like... Yeah, how are we going to get that in? I think, I think I'm gonna just like open it up a little bit. <laughs> like spread it a little bit. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, come on. No, I gotta do. Yeah, I mean, that's already like more than halfway full. Yeah, maybe you should put some clouds in before you add more resin. Yep. From the side, it's looking okay. Okay, I think that mine is done. I'm gonna try it now with the uncured clay. Oh, yeah. That one broken too. That's yeah. pretty good though, I That's think. That's pretty good, I like it. Sometimes technology feels a little bit like magic. You don't want bubbles? Boom, under pressure, no more bubbles. I mean, <laughs> I do need to apply pressure. I can't just say magic words. Yeah, that's true. You can do both. Boom, under pressure. Boom? Boom is the magic word. Probably not the best magic word to choose when you're talking about a pressure chamber. Yeah, maybe not. I'm very curious. Alrighty. Okay, wait, which one is which? This is mine. Okay. And it's... Okay. It's okay. The blue did not mix well. But the, the clouds, I will say, look pretty good. Now you can tell that they did poke out a little bit, like when the light catches, but they look pretty cloudish. I don't know. Okay, honestly, they look about 
the same. Oh, it's soft. Look, look, look. Can you see okay. That? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's bad. Well, I'm not crazy about either of these options, <laughs> but I would say the baked one is slightly better. Cotton balls. We had some around the house and they seemed like a logical thing to make clouds out of. Yep. So why not give it a shot? Oh, I like how there's like almost little like dots. Yeah. Of clustered concentrated white. Now oh, the main wow. thing is when this is in resin, will it still look like that? Or is it gonna get all like soggy Ooh, and gross looking? You I'm know? loving that so far. Much more transparent, yes. much more soft and cloudy. Yes. That's fun. So I, I think I want to try just putting them straight into resin again. Do you want to do anything to yours first? Yeah, I want to do the exact same thing. I want to pull some out. And put it in the microwave? <laughs> so you're putting some UV resin in a cup and yeah. on the mat. <laughs> on accident. On accident. I did that on accident. Yeah, I'm going to soak it. So immerse it. Soak the juices up. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, so there we have it. Mm. A very resiny. Oh, that is so wet. I'm gonna just stand back a little bit. Yeah, right, look at that. That's nice and airy. Can you get little pieces? Oh, look at that. Nice. That's a nice little one. Looks like a tooth. I wanna soak the cotton ball, cure them, and then put them in the two-part epoxy resin. Pew! All right, let's see if it's cured. Oh yeah. Yeah. That totally looks like a tiny little cloud. I definitely want to put this one in. I love that one. I'll put one of the other big ones in, the biggest one in. Ooh, I can see them from the side. They look good. I think they look pretty yeah. good. I'm afraid I put too many clouds in there. No. But really, it's not about the aesthetic distribution. It's just about like, do they, do they look like clouds? Yeah. Now I'll try putting in my dry balls. <laughs> makes you think of like dry eyeballs. Yeah, that's what it makes you think of. Okay. If oh. this is a good idea or a bad idea. Already, already, it's looking very strange. The, the cotton balls are kind of getting stuck on the edges a little bit. Yeah, I think it's this is- It's organic this... shaped. Or, organic is good. But is this good? One thing I can tell is they're they're merging into one, which is not a bad thing. It could be like a nice soft look, but yeah. they're definitely merging and I have zero control, <laughs> which is not a place I like to be in. Well, it's also all of their tails, all of their sides are pointing upwards. <laughs> hey. Oh yeah, I do see that. Because you're pushing them down in the Sorry, middle. Sorry, I gotta go like this to see. You come over to this side. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this footage is just the top of both of our heads. <laughs> Hi. I think that might be a good amount. You know, we'll just see what it looks like when we take it out. Okay. Ready for the pressure pot. The other pressure pot. I think we're gonna name him Max. Max. I like that. That's yeah. cute. He's we a big out. boy. Yeah, he's, 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 he's Max boy. He's Max boy. He is the largest size that we could find for a pre-made pressure pot. So. Exactly. Max. I like it. We oh. have Pascal. Max. And Max. Oh, Max, why do you gotta be so large? Oh. Let's see how the cotton balls did. So these are yours where you resined them first? I thought that looked better. I'm not crazy about these. No, they just kind of look gross. They look like little look snot boogers. balls. <laughs> They're not as opaque as I want them to be. Well, let's see if mine look any different. They don't even look white. They just look like they soaked up the ink. They just soaked up the ink. The They're blue. more. They're more blue. That's it. They soaked up the ink. I think they literally like took the dye. Yeah, mine I don't think did, but yours, yours 100% soaked up the dye. They look like they're, blue clouds. They're blue. There's no white in there. So we were gonna test wool and polyfill and this other like fuzzier looking polyfill. But I feel like after our cotton ball experience, I kind of worried they would just all be the same. But that's okay because we have more options. Air dry clay and also air dry clay and air dry clay and air dry clay. Did you know I was buying this many? 
<laughs> no, I put them all in the cart because I was like, oh, let's look at all four of these and compare the options. And then you're like, I bought the air dry clay. <laughs> all of them. This one, I was actually really excited about because the listing mentioned resin clouds in the description. It came to us all the way from Japan. And it was busted when it got here. It so was busted. There's that. Let's open this up, see if it's still usable. See if it's self-sealing. Ooh, 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 good job. Passed us, look at this. <laughs> It's very, Ooh. look at that. Oh okay, yeah. Okay, that's promising. Now if we can just keep it fluffy in the like small, look at thin that. form. Oh, that right there, that is a cloud. Let's let's set this aside as like potential test one. Let's see about some, some alternatives that are a little bit easier to source. Show me what you got. Unnecessary. Oh. Oh, whoa, look at this. Not the same, not the same. It goes into like- It's strings. It's, it's like cheese. Strings. But like not at all the pull apart cloudy texture no, from, the, the, from the Japanese clay. It's string. Look at that, that's a cloud right there, boom. This is way too wet. It looks like gum that's been melting in the sun. I don't think that one's gonna work. Okay, no. Fail. Fail. Foam clay, non-toxic. Cut sand, prime paint. Open! I made a cat. It's a weird cat. Do you need any help, baby? It's not opening. Oh, it opens from here. Well, then what is this? What is this? You look at this. This looks like the edge of the lid, right? <laughs> no, you break the tab and you open right there. I, my, my, my lid was the exact same and I was able to do it just fine. <laughs> but is the clay good? Let's see. I, I really think this might be the exact same clay in two different packages. Yep, it's yeah, the it's gum a, clay. It's the gum clay. Okay, so we did two, get two boxes of the same thing. I apologize. Well, you know, you don't know until you know, right? Especially if you don't do any research and you just buy them all. Yeah. I'm sorry, that, <laughs> that, came, that, off, that came off saltier <laughs> than I meant it to. Okay, I'm just gonna be meeting my cat over here. <laughs> okay, but this last one, this last one looks so puffed. No! Oh my gosh, we have so much air drying no! clay. What am I gonna do? You can mold some nice things. I'm you gonna can... turn into an elf. Oh, you're gonna make some ears? Hey, <laughs> Dobby is free. Okay, well, you know what? This is the thing. We explored all of the options in person so that you guys know the only one worth getting is this one. Yeah, the, the one from Japan that took two weeks to ship. But yeah. hey, hey, I'm excited to it. try it. We have yeah, it. we have it. We have it. We also have a lot of other things, so I guess we're gonna find a project to use air dry clay for. <laughs> Maybe. That's fun, right? Yeah. All right, so before we do the test in resin, I think we should do another microwave test just to see if we can cure this in the microwave. I'll prepare a few little pieces this is still working really great. I'm still able to pull off just like cloud after cloud. This is the easiest one to prep clouds for too. Who to thunk? The thing that says for clouds in resin actually works. <laughs> so let's put some of these pieces in the microwave let's and see if they out. dry out. Should we do less time than last time? How much time did we do last time? I don't remember. <laughs> they look the exact same. Let me choose a piece to, to, to see if it's harder. Do you listen to it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. They still feel pretty <clears throat> squishy. I think they're always gonna be a little bit squishy. The other ones weren't. The other ones weren't? Well, now, now that you're questioning it, I don't remember. Yeah, the other ones did get harder. I thought they got hardened. I think maybe 
ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll stick it in the resin and see, find it, see, what, see what happens. Crusty blue. I oh no, I did too. It's fine. Is it? Yeah, it's fine. You get a cloud. I get a cloud. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot too. I might like add like just a few more clouds, like maybe a, a medium and then like a really small. They're floating a little bit. Like they're going up? Yeah, they're going up just a little bit. Oh, they are totally floating. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they're going up a lot of it actually. Oh, because they're air clay. There's air in it because it's air clay. No, no, it's air dry clay. They're dry clay. Oh, are they still you floating? Look at the one on the right. Yes, look at the one on the right. Oh, wow. Come on. It's like a little submarine raising yeah, to the he's surface. Up. And if they're not raising, he's that means. He's the surface. We could put a weight, put, 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 put them in some concrete boots. <laughs> Weigh them down so we see the bottom of the river. Now, the other ones aren't floating. What if we just remove this and ignore it? Yeah. <laughs> Into the pressure pot with you. I am feeling very hopeful about this one. Well, oh no. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. When I said I was feeling hopeful, I forgot about the fact that they floated. And the sad thing is like, other than them raising up too high? They might be the best looking clouds. They might be the best looking clouds. Let's compare this to the others. I think we can get rid of these. So we can move forward with the paper clay, or we can try to make the air dry clay work, or we can try a whole new material. So we discussed and we thought, what if we don't need to embed something for it to be clouds? What if we can just make clouds by injecting like really highly concentrated white resin into the blue sky? And even if it doesn't look exactly like clouds, what is the element of air? It's sky, it's wind, it's a breeze. It could be, this could be very interpretive. <laughs> Your butt is not as soft with that on your on it. Ow, 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 ow. This is inappropriate content. Okay. Never done this before? Kinda looks like a cloud. Kinda looks cloudish. Now pulling it up is interesting. I need to kind of like swirl my way out. Yeah. It just like flows. It like, um, I'm not pushing on it, but it just like flows out. Oh wow, it uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, it looks <laughs> organic. It's clouds. Do you not want them to be organic? <laughs> Let the, the wannabe pro show you how it's done. because I have the wisdom and foresight of going second. I'm gonna do a few things differently. Number one, I'm not gonna pull it out, and then I'm gonna suck upwards. Oh, sucking and then upwards. Inject another one, and then suck upwards. Try doing a tiny. And I'll do a tiny right here. Yeah. And I'll suck upwards. Yeah, the suction really helps separate them and stop the flow. There you go. You know, it is, it's not the most cloud-like shape. I was just really trying to focus on not doing what Caitlin did. <laughs> Yours look like there's like letters written in the sky. It looks like K-O-R. Yeah, Caitlin only rocks. <laughs> I'm curious to see. How they both turn out. Like does the resin keep flowing or does it kind of stay where we put it? <laughs> Ooh, ooh, oh! Is it separate? Things happen. This one looks about the same. It still clearly says K-O-R-L. 
I mean, it looks cool, but I don't know if it looks like clouds. It does look like organic wind-like things. It looks kind interpretive of- Interpretive air. Interpretive air. Like it does, it honestly looks cooler than most of these. Yeah, it looks really- Like it looks cool. The weird thing about mine, the weird thing about mine, all of it settled down to the bottom. I mean, again, that doesn't look bad. It looks kind of cool. Doesn't look bad. It looks kind of cool. <laughs> Just like we planned the whole time. Yep. It's time to disassemble the sword. Now, I think one easy place to start is to take off this really cheap handle wrapping. This is a very cheap sword. That's so For swords, cheap. it was cheap. <laughs> Now what's interesting is it looks like this is just black uh, electrical tape. <laughs> Take this whole thing apart. Is that just apart. like foam or plastic under there? Yeah, it's just two pieces of plastic. <laughs> no way. Is that Are they a making... bottle opener? No, th th there's another knife under this. Oh my gosh. What? This is crazy. Oh, this is, oh, Do this is bad. Do they sell a knife also? And they're just like being super efficient with their materials? Yes. This is gonna cause Errors in our mold. This is gonna cost. And then they welded this on. We're gonna have to grind it out. Yeah, we thought we could remove this piece. My gosh, my dudes. What do we do? I mean, I knew I was gonna have to eventually design like a new handle, but I didn't expect it to be like this. <laughs> I guess we just need to design a handle and mm -hmm. get it cutting. And since we were now having to make a new hand guard too, might as well make it fit the theme with the cloud shape. Ooh, such nice rounded edges. Wow. Creating the handle, hand guard, and mold boxes was going great until we did an oopsie. So we have two beautiful mold boxes with our sword pieces ready to go. And as we were placing the sword one, our connection between the handle and the sword, it popped. Yeah. It separated. We have a very thin gap there, big enough for silicone to get in. So we have to fill it. It's just. It's just annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's so painful to like take apart work that you did. I know. Okay. Okay. It's exposed. There's the crack. See the crack? Do you see it? They're not even connected anymore. We're gonna put some blue tape on one side, sprinkle in some baking soda, drop in some super glue. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be better than it was before, honestly. Possibly. I mean, Perhaps. maybe not. Okay, so we're gonna sprinkle in some baking soda with our very official funnel. It's a piece of paper. Hey, I got it pretty good. I'm gonna work it in with a razor blade. This this will be really cool okay, if it works. Okay, yeah, this will be really cool if it works. That is a precise looking line, baby. Saturate, saturate. Go all the way down. Look at that. Okay, the back is good. It looks almost filled. <laughs> looks like there's a gap at the top there. <sighs> okay, I'll do it. You know the benefit of having to undo and redo your work? What? You get better every time. <laughs> I love getting better. And now to finally make our mold. Silicone! I was just reading. It says stir part A and shake part B thoroughly. What? What's that gonna do? I don't know. It says to shake it. Caitlin's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're so close to the edge. What? Oh, careful, careful. Stop making me nervous. 
You want me to get a paper towel for you? That would be very helpful. <laughs> Time for part B. Good thing I shook it. You ready or are you uh, gonna stress me out again? I have full confidence in you. Thank you. <laughs> Unlike my filming skills. <laughs> Okay, let me read the instructions in case there's anything specific, you know. Like what stir it's... clockwise three times, counterclockwise once. Like stir it, but you can't use any fingers. And um... I'm pretty sure they wouldn't do that. Do you want me to read for you while you stir? Sure, thank you. <clears throat> um, uh, it says nothing. After the silicone was mixed, it was time to put it in the vacuum chamber to remove bubbles. It's bubbling time. Oh, it's going. Oh, it's really. It is aggressively bubbling. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Did you have to, did you release some pressure? No, no, no. How much do I want to push it? Let's, let's not push it too much. Continues to push it. We are making like zero progress on these bubbles. Now, the bubbles are popping, but there's still so much bubbles. There's an, an, an indefinite number of bubbles. It, the bubbles are forever. Normally by this point, there'd be no bubbles. But what do you see? When you look in? Covered with bubbles. So I need to prepare the, the super, super pressure pot, yes. DIY pressure pot. Yes, my husband, the engineer with lots of experience building high pressure systems, DIY'd a 36 inch pressure pot so we could ensure the sword had no bubbles. We originally thought we'd use it to get bubbles out of resin, but since the vacuum chamber isn't getting them out of the silicone, we're gonna use it on the silicone too. Do not try building your own pressure pot at home. No, seriously, it could explode. I, I didn't think we'd be using it so soon. I know, me neither. Look at how beautiful it is. Ooh, look at it. Cascading. Cascading. Burying the sword in a sea of liquid jello. But it's not normal jello, it's clear jello. Imagine eating clear jello. I can't imagine that. I mean, eating, eating jello is already, it's already, you know, no offense to jello lovers, but it's not my favorite snack. <laughs> but imagine, just imagine it being clear. Isn't jello naturally clear and then they just add dyes to it? Yeah, I know, that's why it's weird. <laughs> We did say that we were gonna tape the two long edges of the mold together so that the silicone didn't make it bow out. That, that, that might be what's happening right now. It That's, is bowing. It's yeah. definitely bowing. Yeah, it's bowing. All right. It's, tape. it's so bowing, it's an airplane. Now, where were we? Right about here. Mmm, clear jello. Wow, mmm, disgusting, but also wonderful. Let's do it, baby! Oh, your creation. So Wait, what the heck? Why isn't it? Why is it not? Why is it too tall? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Jamie, hold that other side. Uh, what if I'm getting goo on my creation? They don't, they don't call them Max for nothing. Ugh. I don't see any big bubbles. Whoop, whoop. Oh, guys. That is nice. Look at this pro level mold. That is pro level. Look at that. Yeah, that's real nice. That's near perfect. That's, that's the, perfect. Look at the gloss. Yeah. I'm so glad we put it in the pressure pot. Max did a great job. Now. This will be the inaugural test of your homemade pressure chamber. Uh, 
Okay, it's looking pretty bubble free to me. I wonder if the tape is gonna lead to like us having an uneven base. Hopefully not. Oh, it is. Feel how much that went up. It went up, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hey, the mold held up though, it didn't leak. Separating very nicely. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, it's going. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Sword mold. Sword mold. So good. That's super exciting. Because the new pressure chamber has passed, it gets eyes. <gasps> It becomes sentient. <laughs> it joins our army of named pressure pots. Not named yet. The name will come to us. Oh, I have a name. Can I can I say the name? Yeah. Long boy. It's crooked. That's fine. Should I give him a mouth? <laughs> <laughs> long boy. Long oh, boy. Look at how long he is. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the family. Before we do the resin, we thought that we would reveal the design. Wow, it's a gradient. I love it. It is. Thank you, off-camera commentator. So we have this piece that is the blade and the tang that's gonna get covered with the handle. So we thought we'd do like a blue to pink gradient with some purple in the middle to like bridge the gap. But where's the clouds or the wind or the, the white stuff? You'll notice I, I just put it on the sword here and that's because there's actually gonna be handle pieces to cover this tang and we could add the clouds to those. And of course, we're not just doing normal white for our clouds. We're gonna make them glow in the dark. And then we're missing the little hand guard that we made it look like the shape of a cloud. And since it's the shape of a cloud, we thought that that would be cool to color it white like a cloud. <laughs> we also thought maybe we could try a version where the handle matches the white swirly of the cloud hand guard. How could we decide which one to do? What if we did both instead? We're gonna do both instead. We're, I mean, not instead, we're gonna do both. Here we go with the glow. Yeah, glow power. Glow. Our clouds are gonna glow. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, and then we have our opaque white. Oh yeah, uh, Evan made a second mold so that we can do two of these. Heck yeah. Thank you. By the way, if you want a full extra 24 minutes of resin testing content, we recorded a whole test section that is available to our patrons and YouTube members. I thought we weren't gonna admit that we did a test. All right, so I'm gonna try doing a dirty pour between white and blue, just a little bit of blue, because I want it to look kind of like a sky in the clouds, yeah. has a little bit of a blue tint. I'm gonna give it one quick stir. Okay, yeah, to not over mix it. Mm. I mean, that looks nice. I was thinking I'd make it more blue. I'm not sure if I like it. I like it. <laughs> you like it? You don't? No. <laughs> Should I fix it for the second one? No, no then it's only going to be half as good. Yeah. It's better to be uniform and then you might like it. If it's half and half, it's not going to look good at all. Yeah, true. You didn't make them the same. No, I didn't. You added more blue. Oh, that looks totally different. Okay. Go for it, baby. I wish you more luck than I had. Okay. So I tried injecting resin clouds like we had before but we realized the last molds we did were vertical and these ones were horizontal, so it might be different. She so went for a more blue cloud. I'm trying to add some more white to change that. Okay. Ah, long boy, are you ready to join the team? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We, we finished adding a face to him. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. Me too. Now let's get pumping more resin. We have our white and glue. <laughs> our what and what? Our white and glue. Why are you so fancy all of a sudden? Our look. <laughs> oh. And our pins. Oh, oh, ah! We have an extra sword here. I wonder what we could do with it. No, 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 no. 
I really need another place to channel my creative energy, like building a website with today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the one-stop website platform to help you succeed online. Let's say you make cool products and you want to sell them. Squarespace lets you host your products in an online store, whether they're physical, digital, or services. And with their fluid engine design system, you can customize every detail of your website using simple drag and drop. They also have a new asset library system to help organize all your files and content in one place to use across the Squarespace platform. Plus, you can add extensions from vetted third parties to add even more functionality to your website. If you've been wanting to build a website, take this as your sign. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to pull the trigger, go to squarespace.com com slash Evan and Caitlin for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash Evan and Caitlin for 10% off. Let's go crazy. You ready? Let's get some toothpicks and do some mixing. Oh my gosh, the mixing adds so many bubbles. That's why we got a big pressure pot, baby. We got long boy, trust in long boy. Trust in long boy. Shall we do some clouds, baby? Yeah, let's do it, baby. Look at all those clouds we added. Who knows where they're gonna end up. Who the heck knows? Loading commence. Beep. 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 For those of you who don't know, it takes seven days for our resin to fully cure. And I think that we should give the sword as much time as possible. The sword is extra thin, and the thinner the resin, the more time it takes to cure. However, but... I think we can demold the handles now. Now, has it been seven days? No. no it's been two. <laughs> but we've demolded after two days before when it's this level of thickness. Yeah. And... Max, did you, did you do a good job? <clears throat> Max Amelius. That's his full name. Hey, look at this. Look at these, look at these. I'm not sure about this, but I have some high hopes about these. So let's start with the one I'm least sure about. Now it only matters what the other side looks like. No. Mm, it's not our best cloud work. No. There's also a bu bubble. Max! That just looks like a virus. It looks like a bacteria slide. Oh. I'm much happier about this from the back side, though. This is not bad. The only thing is, like, it's a little boring. I like that, honestly. That's pretty good. That's a nice cloud. Now, mine was a little... Ooh, I like that more. A little blue. Oh, yeah. I'm happy enough to proceed with this. I am, too. Oh. I know. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we thought we were gonna have to do a late night resin pour. <laughs> I was ready. I was prepared. I was ready. It's, it's, it's I was 10 01. It's 10 01. I was like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, but I All think right. I think might be okay. We'll just uh right. hope our luck holds up. As you might have heard, it takes seven days for resin to be fully cured. It's been three. <laughs> We're not very patient. I want to see how it turned out. Whoa. Ooh, okay. I like the All gradient right. I'm All seeing. All right. No. The uh, pink got way more pink. It did get way more pink. Oh my god. That gradient's I, looking really smooth, I, I gotta say. I cannot wait to take this out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Does it feel like it's solid? What's coming out? Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that's Whoa. so cool looking. Oh, it's cool yes. looking. Oh my gosh. Oh. Support it, support it. <gasps> Woo! Look at those clouds! Oh my, I'm so oh. sorry for yelling in your ears. Oh my ears. god. That this looks really cool. It looks really, really cool. Our clouds turned out so good. This is amazing. And I honestly, okay, this wasn't planned, but because the blade part was at the bottom of the mold and the white sunk to the bottom, yes. there's like a gradient of white where it's more white on the blade part. Oh, yes. Oh, that looks oh, so success. cool. That looks so cool. Okay, okay, okay. Careful, careful, careful. We careful. have to hide it from them. We need to save it for the final montage and reveal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
days, nay, weeks ago, we had this cheap sword, and now we have... Ha! Ah, the coolest thing we've ever made. I'm so pleased with how this turned out. Like, the way that the clouds look on the sword ended up being so cool after so much trial and error. I really like the contrast of like the white and blue handle and handrail compared to the blade. I feel so powerful. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. It's also kind of like cute. I don't know. It's like the cloud. It's kind of, I don't know. A little cute. I'll kill you. Don't say that. This is YouTube. We're going to get demonetized. How dare you? Oh, I'll stab you. No! <laughs>